How's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the IPTV Smart Risk Pro application to your Fire Stick or Android TV device. The whole process is actually pretty easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. And first of all, what you need to do is get the app called Downloader to your Fire Stick. You can get Downloader free of charge. To do so, just go to search on your Fire Stick and in the search bar, you need to start typing Downloader. So that's what we are doing right now. And as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on it. And now that's the app that you need to get to your device. But after you got Downloader, it's not over yet because you still have to set it up. So now in order to actually set up Downloader on your Fire Stick, we'll need to go to settings. So let's do it straight away. Click on that button with a gear icon. Then you scroll down and go to My Fire TV. You open it. And in here, you have to turn on developer options on your Fire Stick. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire TV Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry, because it's pretty easy to make them appear. You just have to go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you gotta start clicking on the middle button on your remote. And do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it will say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. Open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging, then go to install on apps. And from here, all you have to do is locate downloader and turn this option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now finally we go to the list of apps on your Fire TV Stick, we open it, and now here's the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your Fire TV. But before actually using the loader, there is one more thing which I always recommend doing, and it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, Let's say I will connect to UK right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online, and that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for an RDPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use Downloader safely. And now we are ready to go to the list of apps on your device, uh, locate Downloader and open it up on your Fire Stick. So we open it up, and then here in the search bar, all you need to do is start typing in the code, which will be 28907. So once again, the code is 28907. Make sure to enter it as you see and click on go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel, so you will get even more content about Fire Sticks. And then when the website opens, what you have to do next is scroll down a bit until you see this list of categories. So from the list, you have to locate IPTV players, so here they are, so you have to locate this category and then you need to click on it with your Fire Stick remote. And then after you click, you will see a list of apps. And of course, here's the IPTV Smarters Pro. And the website might also ask us to watch the ad to be able to use the website 
So you would need to click this little button right here and then just wait until it allows you to close the ad. So yeah, now we are allowed. Click on that X button. And now we should be able to click on IPTV Smart Dress Pro. Of course, there's one more ad. Let's close it down as well. And now a new page has loaded. So we also have to scroll it down. And yeah, keep scrolling until you see the Download Classic button. So let's click on Download Classic. That's the usual version of the app that you are used to. And now the download will start. So usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Then click Install and just wait until the app is finally installed on your Fire Stick. And after that, don't click on Open yet. Instead, press on Done because this way you get an option to delete the installation files as you don't need them anymore on your device. So you just click on Delete and then Delete once again. And now when you go to the list of apps on your Fire TV Stick, you open it and here you will find the IPTV Smarters. So now I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way the app will always be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be pretty easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. So enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.